In this tutorial, we will see how to upgrade Cisco Stack Switch iOS image. Let's see how to upgrade Cisco Stack Switch iOS image. Pre validation or backup. Write terminal length 0, show version, show running config, show inventory, show CDP neighbor, show interface description, show IP interface brief, show VLAN brief, show interface status, show environment all, show run pipe include boot, show boot system, show switch. Take the output of this command and keep it with you. Next step, check empty space in flash and delete the old image file. Show flash, give this command show flash then put question mark and press enter. You will see either flash dash one, flash dash two, flash dash three, dash four, or flash. You will see like this, or you can see like this flash one, flash two, flash three, uh, flash four, and flash. It depends on switch model. Then check show flash. Show flash 1, flash 2, flash 3, flash 4 to see the empty space in the flash. And if there is not enough space to copy the image file to the flash, then delete the old image, delete, then force recursive flash, then give the image file name which you want to delete. Then delete force recursive flash one image file name flash two image file name flash three flash four like this you can delete the old image files. Then copy image from FTP server to flash. Copy FTP flash then press enter address or name of the remote host means your FTP server IP address put FTP server IP address here and press enter source file name give the source file name and press enter destination file name you will see the destination file autom name automatically will come here just to verify this one and this one are same if not same just paste the correct file here and press enter after that copy will be started then it will take some time and after that you will see like this means your copy completed you will see this also Then verify md5 checksum, give the command verify md5 flash, then give the image file name and press enter. It will take few moments and you will see like this verify and this is the checksum md5 hash. So verify this hash is same with the hash in Cisco website like this. See, this is the MD5 checksum. If I these two are same, this should be same. If not, then your file is not the correct one. Download the correct one and again copy. See.
see these are same. Now next step. Show how many switches are in the stack. Give the command show switch, you will see. Here I can see four switches. See this star and active. This is the active. This is standby. See the priority, second highest priority. And remaining will be member. See there are two, three and four. So you can see like this only. Like the four is the active, then number two is the standby, remaining is the member. You can see here two is active and four is standby, other two is member. Here you can see you can see like this also three is active, two is standby, other two is member. So what is this mean? If you give the command dir and press enter, like this, dir and press enter, you will see the flash, flash one, you will see that. So flash, the flash and active switch flash means this is a flash one will be same in this case flash and flash port will be same in this case flash and flash two will be same in this case flash and flash three are same so when we are copying image from flash to flash so here flash and flash one same so we can't able to copy image from flash to flash one it will give you the error identical path destination identical path so here if your switch looks like this stack switch looks like this, then you have to copy like flash from flash to flash two flash to flash three and from flash to flash four so if your switch looks like this four is the active switch then you have to copy like this flash to flash one from flash to flash two from flash to flash three you can't copy from flash to flash four you will see the error identical path if your switch looks like this then you have to copy like from flash to flash one from flash to flash three from flash to flash 4 you can't copy from flash to flash 2 because flash and flash 2 are same here if it looks like this 3 is active then means your flash and flash of the switch means flash 3 are same so you can't copy from flash to flash 3 so if 3 is active then from flash to flash 1 from flash to flash 2 from flash to flash 3 like this you have to copy just you have to look this which is the active switch if you have more switches like five six seven just to verify which is the active switch so that switch flash and the flash default flash will be same so you can't copy uh, from default flash to the active switch flash see we can conclude that flash and active switch flash are same we cannot copy image file from flash to active switch flash. If you try to copy, then you will see error copying file. Sorry, error copying flash, then image file name. Error, you will see the destination path is identical. If you see when you are copying flash uh, from, sorry, when you are copying image file from one flash to another flash, and if you see this error, that means you are trying to copy from default flash to the active switch flash. Now, see how to copy. Copy iOS image from flash to another flash. 
So copy flash, then image file, then destination flash. This is two. And if your flash looks like plus two, then you can put this one here. Don't put this one. This depends on a switch model. You can put this type. Then press enter. Then see the destination file line. It should be same. And press enter. Then you will see like this. Copy in progress. It will take some time and after that you will see means completed and do the same for the other flashes copy flash image file then flash 3 means this is the destination flash then press enter and destination file name you will see both will be same if not then paste the correct file here and press enter then copy will be started and it will be finished after some time you will see like this do the same for the other flashes like flash 4 if you have 5 6 7 8 9 do the same way and verify all the member switches now check all the member switches uh, flash if the image file has been copied or not Show flash pipe include give the image file name. You will see this one. You will see the date also. This is the image file name. For see the flash one. So in this case, case a flash and flash one are same. So you can verify also. Show flash give the pipe include give the image file name. Then show flash two pipe include image file name. Verify all the flashes like this. Then check the current boot sequence. Show run pipe include boot. So this doesn't matter anything. So you will see like this boot, system, switch all, flash, then image file. So this is your current image file. You can see one more also. You can see two more. If other is there, that will be below this like this. If the older one, like, suppose one more is there, that should be older one. And that may be like this, 150, like this will be there. Any kind of below version will be here. Now, do the boot sequence. So, boot sequence means your latest image file, which you are going to update, that will come on top. Like this, it will come on top here. Then the old will be below. So, how to do this? Just go to config mode and remove the first two. No. If no board system switch or flash, give the one. If you have this one also, then give this one also. So give this one also. then press enter then give the latest one this one and give the current one this is the current one no need to give this one no more one is enough one car backup is enough so what will happen in this case if the switch doesn't take or doesn't boot up with the latest one then it will automatically take this one and if you don't give this one the current one as a backup and if your switch don't take this image then your switch will go to ROM mode and it won't come up and there will be outages after that exit and give the right command now check the new boot sequence show run 
pipe include boot you will see like this top will be the latest one and below will be the current one on check all the switch flash in details so you can check here also all the switch flash having the latest ns file or not so give the show boot system you will see this is the latest one and this is the current one this is the latest one this is the current one verify all the switches you will see if you have four switches you will see four switches here if you have five, uh, five switches you will see all five switches if you have six you will see all the switches here if any switch is not showing here that means you didn't copy the emails to that switch flash so copy that image to the switch plus to the boot sequence and give the right command then reload the switch and wait for 30 to 45 minutes after that your switch will come up and validate show version pipe include dot bin see the switch has came up with the latest ios image or not show the switch you will see all the member switches came up or not so environmental you will see the fan status or power ps status means power supply status so cdp never you will see the connected other devices like core switch or any other switch and router thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye